So if any of you, hi, hi to everyone. Um, if you would like any props for today's class, so if you'd like a yoga strap, um, if you don't have a yoga strap, whoops, then um, you can just use a dressing gown tie uh, or a towel or just something you can kind of hook around your feet when we do some forward folds. It just gives us some extra room um, while we're practicing. I'm doing some leg stretches. So I hope you're all well, staying healthy. So when you're ready, just taking a couple of minutes, just getting into a comfortable seated position. Grabbing anything you need, if you need any, uh, if you have any yoga blocks or straps, or you can just use some cushions, anything that you want just to help for some extra support. And just finding your comfortable position. Option here, you can always bring something underneath the sit bone, so a cushion or something. This just helps us to raise the hips up and it tilts the pelvis forward. So it kind of takes the pressure off the hips and the knees. And just bringing the hands to the knees, or you can just release them into the lap, whatever's more comfortable. And maybe just starting to close the eyes here. Taking some deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. Just coming to find your comfortable seat. Taking a scan of the body here and seeing if there are any areas of tension or tightness. Anywhere that in particular today is maybe a little bit tighter or more uncomfortable. Just checking in with yourself, seeing how you feel. And we just come to find calm at the beginning of our practice. Just taking time for ourselves. And maybe here setting an intention for today's practice something you want to achieve, maybe something that we do most weeks, but today you feel like you might just get it. <laughs> Challenging yourself where you can, but not pushing yourself into any discomfort. And again here, we're just bringing our awareness back to the breath. So still taking those deep inhales through the nose. And we're sending that breath all the way to the belly as we exhale, fully emptying. We just keep flowing with the breath like this. From here, we're just going to bring our hands to our belly. Just gently placing your hands there. It doesn't have to be too tight. Just releasing them, rolling the shoulders back. Just staying tall through the spine here. And really just closing the eyes if it feels okay. And as we inhale, we're going to send the breath down towards the belly. For a count of four, three, two, one, hold, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, inhale, four, 
three, two, one, hold, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, inhale, four count. Holding at the top and exhale for four. And hold. Moving the hands up towards the ribs here as we inhale four, three, two, one. Hold. Exhale four, three two, one, hold, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Bringing the hands to the chest as we inhale, sending that breath all the way down to the belly. Three, two, one, holding, calming the nerves here, relaxing the palate as we exhale. Four, three, two, one, hold. Releasing the hands down to the knees. Inhale with your whole body, sending that breath down to the belly. Three, two, one, holding. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Coming back to your natural breath. Maybe just seeing if we've created some more space within the body. As we inhale, begin to raise the arms up above us. Really stretching through those fingertips, reaching up, maybe raising one arm and then the other, just moving through the body. And then coming back through to center, releasing the right arm, reaching over with the left. Finding that chest rotation. So we're taking the gaze under that left armpit, twisting the chest open, keeping the sit bones grounded to the mat. Inhale, raising up. Exhale over to that left side, stretching through the right side body, really feeling that stretch all the way up the side, all the way through those fingers. Inhale back through center. Exhale over to that right side again. Option, if you feel you can go deeper, you can lower to the elbow, but making sure that the sit bones don't lift off the mat. If they start to, then just come back up onto the hand. We'll get down there. We can make the way, stretching. Inhale up through center, exhale left side. Again, finding that rotation, maybe lowering down to the elbow. And inhale, raising back up. Exhale, we're going to take our arms out to the side here and then begin to reach them back as if you're trying to get your fingers to the back of the mat. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, puffing that chest out. As we exhale, we're going to bring the right arm underneath, left arm on top. Crossing at the elbows here, coming into our eagle arms. So we lift these arms up, option to bring the backs of the hands together or wrapping the arms all the way around, seeing if we can get those palms together. Coming to wherever you can, maybe just hooking the finger on the thumb, tucking the chin here, and as we inhale, raising the elbows up towards the sky. Deep breaths here, again, we're sending the breath down to the belly. Feeling that stretch across the shoulder blades. Deep breathing, really connecting. Focusing that mind, releasing through the muscles, one more breath. Exhale, unwind those arms, bring them open. We're gonna send those fingers to the back of the room again. 
squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, left arm underneath this time, right arm on top, coming into those eagle arms, whichever way. Again, we're gonna tuck that chin. Inhale, begin to raise the arms up. Maybe just closing the eyes here. And pinpointing that stretch, seeing if you can breathe into the upper back, into the shoulder blades. Finding that release. And as we exhale, releasing the arms, bringing them wide, stretching them to the back of the room. Exhale, just releasing them down by the sides. We're going to take the right leg out and bring that left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Option here, you can keep the knee bent, maybe placing a cushion or something underneath if you'd like extra support. And we're keeping this right foot active, so those toes are facing up towards the ceiling. And we're going to send this right arm to the inside of that right leg, so we're bringing it down. And we're going to inhale, begin to reach over with the left. Finding that stretch through the left side. That right foot is still active. So we're bending over the same way as we're reaching to that foot. Perfect. <laughs> as we exhale, we're going to release the top arm down, bringing it through the middle over to the left and then inhale bringing ourselves up onto that left knee reaching with the right arm so we're doing this in one fluid motion as we exhale lowering down we're bringing that right arm across through the front back to the inside of the leg reaching over with that left arm taking the gaze under the armpit finding that stretch Exhale, releasing through the middle, bringing it round. Inhale, coming up into our half wild thing. Pointing through that right toe, reaching through the body. Exhale, coming down. And just changing those legs over. Bringing the right foot to the inside of the left thigh this time. And we're gonna bring the left arm, bringing it to the inside of the left leg. So taking it to the inside, as we inhale, we're going to raise the right arm up, stretching through that right side. As we exhale, bringing the arm down through center, onto the mat as we inhale, reaching up with the left. Exhale, releasing. Left arm comes to the inside of the left leg, right arm comes over. One more breath here. Exhale down through the center, reaching. Inhale up with the left. And exhale, releasing down. I'm going to bring both legs out this time. So it doesn't have to be a super, <laughs> super wide stance, just to wherever it is comfortable for you. Option here, so you can bring a cushion under the sit bones again. This helps to tilt the pelvis forwards. Or bringing some cushions or blocks underneath the knees. Alternatively, just keeping those knees a little bit bent. If you have the flexibility, you can keep them straight. The toes are active, facing towards the ceiling. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, begin to hinge at the hips, folding forward. Bringing those fingertips to the floor, to the mat. And we're just going to tuck the head, the chin. Those feet are still active. We're drawing up through the shins, the kneecaps. Option here, lowering to the forearms. Or maybe lowering all the way down. Just taking whichever is right for you. So we're remembering here, we're slowing down with the breath. Hollowing out that belly, so bringing the belly towards the spine releasing through the shoulders, trying not to hunch those shoulders up towards the ears. One more breath here. Inhale, gently walking the hands back up, bringing the hands under the knees, we're gonna bring those knees up towards each other. And from here, we're gonna hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe here we can take the tiptoes off the floor. So we're seeing if we can find that sweet spot. 
Maybe you can just rock back and forward, just seeing if you can find the spot of balance, like coming down to the toes, maybe finding it in the middle there. And we're bringing the belly towards the spine, sending the chest forward. Really hugging that left leg in, we're gonna take the right piece fingers and see if we can hook them onto the inside of that big toe. So your arm is on the outside of the leg, hooking to the inside of the toe. As we inhale, maybe just raising that right leg up to a tabletop position. Keep squeezing that left leg in. If you can go further, maybe starting to lengthen that leg out or keeping a slight bend, just seeing where we can get to. Exhale, release. Hugging the right knee in, hooking the left piece fingers this time. As we inhale, lifting that leg up to a tabletop position. Maybe we can go a bit further, raising it, lengthening, or just keeping a slight bend. Keep hugging that right knee in. Exhale, release. Taking both fingers this time, hooking them onto the toes. As we inhale, maybe just come into this tabletop position, really sending the chest forward. Slowing that breath down. Option to lengthen the legs out. We're going to hold here, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, well done, squeezing those knees into the chest. And we're just going to swing the legs around us here, coming onto all fours. Bringing the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, just starting to sway side to side. Bringing some movement through the spine through the lower back. And we're gonna come into a few rounds of our cat cow. So coming back to a static tabletop, pressing through the hands, we're gonna inhale, begin to lift the head, lift the chest. And we're aiming that belly down towards the mat. Exhale, arching the upper back, squeezing the belly towards the spine. Inhale, coming forwards. Exhale. In your own rounds of breath, just working with this cat cow. Seeing what feels good. Maybe you can bring some movement into it. Pushing back into your child's pose. And then as you inhale, bringing yourself forward. Exhale. Inhale. And just coming back to your static tabletop when you're ready. And we're going to reach our right arm forwards. Reaching, 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 growing tall. Working on that balance, grounding down through the left hand. Option to take the left leg back behind us here. Keeping it on the floor and maybe raising it up. Slowing that breath down. And you can take your gaze to the hand or just release it to the mat. It's completely up to you. Exhale, release. Coming to the other side, sending that left arm forward. Option to bring the right leg back, keeping it on the floor or maybe raising it up. Taking that gaze to the hand or just releasing it to the mat. And really just start engaging the core here. We're slowing that breath down. Exhale, release. Coming to the other side, right hand forward, left leg back. Taking a deep inhale here as we open the right arm up towards the right, left leg towards the left. Inhale back towards the center. Exhale, opening it up. Inhale back towards the center. One more time, exhale, opening it up, holding here, three, two, one, exhale, back through center and releasing down. Left arm comes forward, right leg back. Inhale, opening the left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale, holding here. Three, two, one. Exhale, back through center, lowering the hands and knee, taking those knees as wide as the mat, pushing back into your child's pose. Really stretching the arms as far forward as they can go. Releasing the chest and the head between the thighs. And come in here whenever you need to throughout the practice. This is our resting pose. And inhale, gently bringing ourselves forward. Again, we're going to bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Pressing through the left hand, we're going to inhale, raise the right arm up. Stretching to the ceiling. As we exhale, releasing the right arm under the left. Coming onto the shoulder, onto that right shoulder. Option to keep the left hand where it is, or maybe walking the fingertips all the way out in front of us. Again, staying here, we can take the left arm, bring it behind you, place it on the lower back, or hook it onto the inside of that right thigh. Staying here. If you want another little challenge, we're going to start to elongate that left leg back behind us. So lengthening the left leg out. Working on our balance. This creates more of an active stretch. And just bring that back knee in if it's extended, releasing the top arm, pressing through the left hand, gently bringing ourselves back up, pushing back into our child's pose, stretching those arms forward. Inhale, gently coming forward. Pressing through the right hand this time. Inhale, lifting up with the left. Stretching as we exhale, releasing the right arm, left arm, sorry, underneath the right. Coming onto that left shoulder. And again, you can keep the right fingertips where they are or maybe walking them out in front of you. Option to keep them here or take the hand behind, resting it on the lower back or hooking it onto the inside of that left thigh. And if you would like to go deeper, you can start to lengthen that right leg out behind you. And just releasing that leg if it's extended. Gently releasing the top arm, pressing through the palm and lifting yourself up. We're going to tuck those back toes. As we exhale, we're going to glide back into our first downward dog. And just taking any movements here, moving through the ankles. You can sway the hips side to side, walking the dog, so pedaling the feet. Bending the knees maybe, and then lengthening out. Just seeing what feels good. So the feet should be about hip width apart at the back of the mat. And all the fingers of the hand, they're pressing down. And we're pushing that mat away from us, so pushing out of the shoulders. Taking the gaze to the tops of the thighs. Sending the thighs up and back. As we inhale here, we're going to raise up onto the tiptoes, raising up, raising those sit bones as high as we can. Exhale, releasing the heels towards the mat. Inhale, raising up. Exhale, release. Inhale, raising up. And exhale, releasing, looking forward, and we're going to walk the feet all the way towards the hands, one footprint at a time, and just coming into a forward fold, 
holding onto opposite elbows, swaying side to side. Really just becoming a ragdoll here, being really floppy, nodding the head yes, shaking the head no. Bringing the weight into the toes and then back into the heels. Finding your center. And we're just going to bend into the knees here, release the arms. As we inhale, just begin to peel ourselves up really slowly. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Bringing the head up last. And just taking some rolls with the shoulders. So rolling those shoulders back. And then rolling them forwards. As we inhale here, we're going to bring those toes together, heels slightly apart, begin to reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, folding forwards, bringing the fingertips to the floor or just sliding the hands up the shins, coming into our half lift. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping back into our high plank here. We're pressing into the mat, so we're pressing that mat away from us again. Option, you can always lower the knees if today gravity isn't your friend. We're just going to start to take some circles in our high planks, so rotating all the way through the shoulders. Three, two, one, reversing that circle. Three, two, one, exhale, we're going to lower to the knees, send our chest forward over the hands, squeeze the elbows in together and lower all the way down with control to the mat. Pressing into the palms, we're going to inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, pressing into the hands, rolling those shoulders up, opening through the chest. Exhale, releasing down. As we inhale, again we're going to roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then see if we can raise the palms off the floor. Take a look at your elbows, maybe we can get the palms to the same height as those elbows. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, we're pressing the pelvis into the floor, turning those back muscles on, breathing deeply, one more breath. As we exhale, sending the arms behind us, Reaching back, one more here. Exhale, hands lower to either side of the chest and gliding back into our downward dog. As we inhale here, we're gonna raise the right leg up towards the sky. And here we can come onto those left hip toes and maybe we can bend into the right knee. So we're trying to stack the right hip on top of the left. Keep squaring the chest and the arms to the front, reaching the hip over. As we exhale, we're gonna hug that right knee in towards the chest, coming into our plank. Option here, bringing the foot down to the floor, or maybe we can take a big step and pop it between the hands, lowering the back knee down. Inhale here, we're gonna raise those arms up. Coming into our half crescent. And as we exhale, we're just going to interlace the hands and bring them on top of the knee and start to bend into the hips here. So this, we're stretching through the psoas muscle. This is what helps our flexibility. And we want to make sure here that our knee and our ankle are in the same line. So if you have a look and you can see that your knee is a bit too far forward or it's too far over, we're just bringing ourselves so it's in line with one another. And gently here we're bringing the right hip back, left hip forward, opening through the chest. Finding that stretch. As we inhale, releasing the arms, bringing them up towards the sky. Exhale, back towards the knee. Staying here, or maybe we can begin to lift that back knee up. Lifting that back foot off the floor. If you can't, just keep it on the floor, just working with the body. Option to stay here, or taking the right arm, begin to reach back. Reaching to the back of the room. 
Maybe we can hold on to that foot. Taking some deep breaths. Coming back through center. We're gonna release the hands either side of the front foot. Pressing through that left hand, we're gonna inhale, reach up with the right. Coming into our easy twist here. Option staying here or tucking the back toes and lifting that back knee off the floor. Taking some deep breaths. The gaze is to that top hand. Exhale, releasing it down, lowering that back knee. And we're gonna walk the fingertips towards us, bringing that front foot up towards the face, coming into our half runner's lunge. So bringing the fingertips close towards the body here, getting that length, opening up, keeping that foot pointing up towards the face. And then maybe as we breathe into this resistance, we can begin to walk the fingertips a little far forward. We're bringing the hands down. So what helps me here is actually I close my eyes because then you can really tune into that body. Send the breath, breathing into that resistance. And maybe coming deeper only if it feels okay. And then as we exhale, releasing the front foot down, bringing the hands either side. You're going to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Step back into our high plank. Option here, you can take a vinyasa or just glide back into your downward dog, whatever you like. So lowering to the knees, chest, chin. Upward facing dog or little cobra. Coming into your downward dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg up to sky this time. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Maybe coming onto the right tip toes, bending into that left knee. Seeing if we can bring that left hip over the right. Squaring the chest to the front. As we exhale, we're gonna hug that knee in all the way to the chest. Option to just lower the foot to the middle of the mat. We're seeing if we can step it all the way forward, lowering that back knee down. Inhale, coming up into our half crescent. And interlacing those fingers, bringing the hands to the knee. Again, just checking here that that knee is over the ankle. If you feel you can go forwards a little more, just bring the foot a little further forward to line that knee and ankle up. Stretching into the hips, opening through the chest. Then you slightly bring that left hip back and right hip forwards. Inhale here, we're going to raise the arms up. As we exhale, either coming back to the hands on the knee. We're bending into that back right knee, seeing if we can bring the left arm behind us. Option to stay here or holding on to that back foot. So just taking the option that is right for you. One more breath. Exhale, releasing back. Taking those hands either side of the front foot. We're going to press through the right hand. This time, inhale, lift up with the left. Coming into that easy twist, taking the gaze to the top hand. Again, if you'd like the challenge, tucking the toes, lifting the back knee off the floor. And just a couple more breaths here. Exhale, releasing that top hand down. Releasing the back knee if it was lifted, and walking back into our runner's lunge the opposite side. So we're bringing the foot up towards the face, fingers come close to the body at first. Using that breath.
Couple more breaths here. And then exhale, releasing that front foot, planting the hands either side, tucking that back toe, lift the back knee, stepping back into your high plank, lowering to the knees, chest, chin, coming back into your downward dog, or you can lower all the way down to the belly with control. Inhale to your low cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back into your downward dog. As we inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, bringing it forward, placing it between the hands, giving it that helping hand if you need. Back foot turns 90 degrees. We're going to take this left arm and bring ourselves up to our warrior two. Bending into that front knee. Arms are level straight out with the floor. So making sure that that front knee is tracking over the second and third toe. And again, that that knee is over the ankle. So if you find maybe your legs are a bit too close together, so just bringing them a bit further apart, or the opposite way, maybe they're too far apart. So just working with that alignment. The front heel is in align with the back arch of the foot. And we're going to take a deep inhale here. Reaching the body forwards. Exhale, front arm comes down to that front knee. Left arm comes over. Again, we're taking that gaze under the armpit. Option here to keep the front arm on the knee. Or maybe if you'd like the challenge, we can wrap it around our middle. Holding on, working that core, working the front knee. If you want more of a challenge, that arm that's wrapped around, you can raise it up towards the sky. One more breath here. Inhale, coming back to that warrior two. Straightening the front leg. Inhale, reaching forward, bumping the hips back, lowering the front arm to the knee, the shin or the ankle, raising that left arm up. So again, we want this alignment as if we're between two planes of glass. So we're tucking that tailbone under. If you find that you're hunching over, trying to reach the arm down, then just slide that arm maybe up to the shin or up to the thigh. Now we're going to bend into that front knee. Inhale, come back to the warrior two. As we inhale here, we're going to straighten into the front leg, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bending, opening those arms out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold. And then releasing the hands either side of the front foot. Stepping back into your downward facing dog. Lifting that left leg up to sky. Exhale, bringing it forwards, placing it between the hands. Giving it that helping hand if you need. Back foot 90 degrees. Using the right arm this time, we're going to inhale, come up to that warrior two. And again, just checking that alignment in the body. Is that front heel aligned with the arch of that back foot? Is the front knee over the front ankle? Is the front knee tracking over the second and third toe? Arms are strong and straight. Your gaze is over the middle finger. Inhale, reaching the body forwards. Exhale, releasing that front arm, reaching over with the right. Taking the gaze under the armpit. And again, you can take either option here. So bringing that front arm around the middle, engaging the core, or sending it up towards the sky. Using that breath, keeping the bend in the front knee. Holding here. And as we inhale, coming back to our warrior two, straightening that front leg, reaching forward, sending the hips back. Lowering the front arm to the thigh, the shin or the ankle, sending that right arm up towards the sky. And 
and that back foot is still active. So we're drawing up through the back leg. One more breath here, bending into that front knee, inhale, coming back to that warrior two. We're gonna reach the arms up, straighten that front leg. Exhale, back to our warrior two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And we're just gonna straighten that front leg and turn the toes in towards us. So both feet are facing that long side of the mat. Arms are straight out. As we inhale, we're gonna raise them up. Here we're gonna turn the feet out away from us. So like a frog. <laughs> As we exhale, begin to bend into those knees, bringing the palms to our heart center. Inhale, we're gonna open the arms up to a cactus position. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, down to center. Inhale to our cactus. Exhale to center. Inhale, raising the arms up. One more time here, working with that breath. Exhale. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, raising the arms up and then straightening through the legs. Just giving those legs a little wobble out. Well done. <laughs> so just gonna make your way from here to the front of the mat. And bring those toes together, heels slightly apart. Raising the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, planting the hands. Stepping back into your high plank. Taking a deep inhale as you exhale, lowering to the knees, chest, chin. Inhale to your low cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And here we're just gonna bring the hands a little closer together at the front of the mat. And we're gonna bring the right foot on the next inhale to the outside of the right hand, lowering the back knee down. So we're coming into our lizard pose. So the hands are a little closer together. Right foot is to the outside of the right hand and we're gonna turn the right toes all the way out towards the right. So that opens up the side of the hip. Option to stay up on the hands here. All the fingertips. And we're stretching through the hips again. Or maybe we can lower down to the hands. Or option, lowering down to a block or cushion or maybe to your forearms. This is a really deep stretch, so just being really patient with yourself. Using the props when you can. And if you do want to go deeper in this pose, you can always tuck the back knee and lift the back, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee off the floor. Just making it more of an active pose. And if it feels good, you can sway side to side, maybe forwards and back. And then as we inhale, gently coming up onto the hands, we're going to tuck the back knee, tuck the back foot, lift the back knee, and send that front foot all the way back if we can, taking a vinyasa, or you can just glide back into your downward dog. Stretching through those legs. And we're going to come to the other side, so we're bringing the hands together. At the front of the mat, and we're going to bring the left foot this time to the outside of the left hand, lowering the back knee down. And again here, we're really turning those left toes out towards the left, just helping to open up that hip. Staying on the fingertips if this is where you are. Maybe as we work with the breath, we can lower down onto the hands. 
maybe lowering onto some blocks or coming down onto the forearms. One more breath here. And as we inhale, gently coming up onto the hands, tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee, stepping back into your high plank, or maybe just releasing that front knee back, tucking the toes, then gliding back into your downward dog, paddling those feet out. And we're just gonna lower the knees here, bringing the legs out in front of us. So just swinging those legs out. We're going to come into a forward fold. So if you would like to use your strap, if you have one, if not, you can always keep the knees bent here. So when we inhale, raising the arms up, exhale, folding forward, either holding onto the strap or keeping that bend in the knees, holding the shins, maybe the outsides of the feet. Option, you can hold on to the toes with your peace fingers. And working with the breath again here, maybe we can lengthen the legs out a little. And just being mindful to keep those shoulders down away from the ears, hollowing out that belly. And as we inhale, gently coming up, removing that strap. We're going to bring the hands just behind the hips, fingertips facing forward, bringing the feet towards the mat, about hip width apart. We're going to press through the hands, press through the feet. As we inhale, begin to lift those hips up to that tabletop position. And again here, checking that those knees are under the, <laughs> over the top of the shins, oh, over the top of the heels. Everything, everything's aligned. <laughs> and you keep squeezing your glutes here, sending the hips up towards the sky. One more breath. Exhale, releasing down, bringing those legs out. We're actually gonna bring the le right leg out, left leg to the inside of that right thigh. And the right foot is active. Option here if you want to use your strap again, just setting it up. Again, if you want to keep that bend in the knee, you can start to do that. As we inhale, raising the arms up, making sure that torso is squared over the front leg. As we exhale, begin to fold forward. So making sure we're folding at the hips here, not through the lower back. So keeping that chest open, sucking that belly in. Helping to protect the lumbar, using that strap if you like. And again here, we're just breathing into the stretch. So really working with the breath. With the inhales and exhales. Inhale, gently coming up, removing that strap. We're going to bring the left knee up towards us here. Wrapping that left arm around the knee, taking right arm around the knee, taking the left arm behind us. And we're really hugging that left knee in as we twist towards the left side. Gaze is over the left shoulder. If you would like to go deeper, you could always bring the elbow to the inside of the thigh. Growing tall through the spine, through the crown of the head.
Exhale, releasing, coming forwards. So option here, we can bring the left foot to the outside of the right hip. So option bringing it across, maybe just staying here. Maybe we can lower the knee down so the knees are on top of each other or in the same kind of line. Or you can just bring the foot out so it's a little bit further across. Up to you, whatever feels okay. Maybe just staying up like this. Maybe being able to lower that knee down. We're just gonna take the fingertips to the floor. That right foot is still active. And then as we exhale, we're just gonna walk the fingertips forward. So this is a deep stretch through that right leg, through the glute. So tucking the chin, deep stretches. Just helping to release all the hip opening and the leg strengthening that we've done in the class today. And then coming up when you're ready on your inhale, removing that left leg, taking it out. We're going to come to the other side, so bringing that right foot to the inside of the left leg. And using your strap, so just setting that strap up over the foot. And keeping the bend in the knee. As we inhale, raising the arms up, exhale, begin to fall forwards. And inhale, gently coming up, bringing that right knee up this time, hugging that knee, taking the left arm, wrapping it around the knee, hugging it into the chest, bringing the right arm behind us, taking the gaze over the right shoulder, helping us into this twist. So again, if you find maybe that you're leaning a bit too far back because you're trying to get that hand down to the floor, you can always bring that hand to the lower back. Just helping to create space within the body, sending those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, releasing, coming forwards. And again, this time we're going to bring the right foot to the outside of the left hip. Option to just keep it here when we fold forward or maybe lengthening it so we can lower that knee down. That left foot is active, bringing the fingertips to the floor. And maybe here, hinging at the hips a little, just tucking the chin. Or if you're able to, just walking those fingers out in front of you. And as we inhale, gently coming up, uncrossing the legs. We're just gonna hug those knees into the chest. And then send the arms out in front of us and really gently lower down through the spine. So massaging through the spine, bringing those knees in towards us. Taking the arms out across the floor here. And we're going to exhale, lower the knees down to the left side, taking the gaze over the right shoulder. An option if you want to deepen this stretch, you can bring that left foot and hook it on top of the right knee. 
So it's just a little bit more pressure, helping to twist deeper into that right side. And as we inhale here, gently coming up through to center and releasing the legs over to the right side. Option here, bringing the right foot on top of the left knee. Or just staying where you are. And inhale, coming through to center. And we're going to come into our happy baby. So taking those knees hip width apart, drawing them in towards the chest, sending the feet up towards the sky, but we're going to keep a 90 degree bend in those knees. Taking the arms to the insides of the legs, holding the outsides of the feet, or option just to hold behind the knees. And we're drawing those knees in towards the armpits here, flattening the tailbone across the floor, an option, you can start to sway side to side, massaging through the lower back, maybe lengthening one leg and bringing it back in, lengthening the other leg, bringing it back in, maybe lengthening both legs out and bringing them back in. And we're going to come into our Shavasana. Last pose of the day, releasing the legs out, taking the arms away from the body and tucking those shoulder blades underneath. Just coming to close the eyes. Just slowing the breath down. And just bringing that breath back, <clears throat> moving through the fingertips, through the toes. Maybe rotating the wrists, the ankles, stretching through the arms, through the toes, and hugging the knees into the chest. And when you're ready, just coming up to a seated position at the top of the mat. And just bringing the hands to the knees and we're just gonna seal the practice with three rounds of breath. So inhaling deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. So you can sigh if you want, letting it all out. Inhale. Bringing your hands to the heart center as we exhale, bowing to seal the practice. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you this Thursday. I didn't come last Thursday. Uh, 
internet problems but um yeah i hope you have a good afternoon see you thursday if you can make it if not i'll see you next week bye